Hey, what's the Matlock 2000 here? Uh, welcome back. Alright. Welcome back. Alright, who should I show my poem to first? Um, Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I, if I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. And what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I go to doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I want to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you were saying you liked it? That's the key's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Nate, I'm pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. She did say it, though. What did she say? That you don't have to go around, like, bragging crap like that. Uh. Anyways. That's a key must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Fine, I guess. Because Monica will make me if I don't. <coughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, cuz. I'm just thinking of that vine. Here, have a dollar. No, I don't want it. Why? Because! Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even have to take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the only nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat, and that. Ah, but then I. It made. Ugh, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki is feeling proud. I won't take it away from her. Um, how about we go for, uh, Weirdo. Yeah, 
Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. Forgot to start speaking. Give me your pen so I can uh, put it in my butt. <laughs> I'm Yuri. <coughs> um. It's fine if you, you don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is the first time I'm writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? N no. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I can help but notice that it's between several minutes. That it's been several minutes and we haven't gone anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable, noticeable thing I recognize is new, in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick writing styles separate from the topic matter. They form fit the two together. The end result is both style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, says if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. You get your junior up. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Don't try that at home, kids. Don't try it anywhere, for that matter. Don't try what? I don't think the audience can hear me. Well, if they can, don't try it at home. Or anywhere. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. That's a king can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. You shouldn't be taking talking about people like that. She'd rather Sorry. put the pen in the other side. Uh oh. It's fine. I'm not sure you, if you're apologizing to yourself, to me, or not to me. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. I can't read that. Uh, the something of my hair illuminate beneath the amber's glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test. Yeah, screw it. I, I'm not reading that. You guys can read it. I'm sorry. I have such a terrible hand. Why? What? Read Yuri's poem? I wasn't thinking that at all. I was thinking I can't even read handwriting. But it took you a long time to read. It took me like five seconds. That's a long time? Oh, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. No, I don't. Then, eh? that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. 
for the first time. Mm -hmm. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> So no swearing this time, okay? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Matt Bot. Are you talking to someone? Yourself? Recording. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. What is it, woman? Did I, did I read it for a long time? Or did I... Or did I glance over it? Make up your mind! But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. Like, look! It took you a long time to read? Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Choose up your mind. But remember that poets often express their own Yeah, They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place to comfort unable to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you like that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll keep trying. I'm counting on you. Um... Sayori. This is a good poem, Mattbot. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. But that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Mattbot. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> See about that. Oh, uh, dear sunshine. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. Didn't mean to say it. It was a bad poem. It came out, it came out nice, or how should I put it? it? Just sounds like it's the end of the video. Really? Yes. So, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in an hour. Hour two. Peace out. Bye. Remember to like.